Taoism's focus is on making life simple and easy. Sounds just right for you Mr. Roten, you lazy bum. Anyway, basically it says to avoid all conflicts. If someone is causing problems, just walk away. What good can you do by getting angry? It also shares the idea that desire is ultimately not a good thing. What sets Taoism apart is that it says simply looking at something the right way will make you happy. For example, if your boyfriend just left you that's not so bad. Now you don't have to buy gifts, call him and worry about what he is thinking all the time. See, just look at it properly, and you can be happier in almost any situation. Now I'm going to introduce you to a Taoist that many of you already know. Winnie the Pooh. I bet you didn't know he was a Taoist. Okay, he isn't really, but he sure lives like one. Think about it, he goes through life hardly worrying about anything, and he makes everything so simple. He just wants some honey and he's completely satisfied. He's almost always happy, just like Taoism says. In the original book about Winnie the Pooh Piglet says Pooh hasn't much brain, but he never comes to any harm. He does silly things, and they turn out right. See? That is totally a Taoist. He's a clip from one of his cartoons to show you more. Oh, I do enjoy best friend lunches. <laughs> Especially the part where you ask for seconds. <laughs> Excuse me, Tommy, but was that you who just went? Oh, I suppose not. Hello, Piglet. I brought you a best friend present. It's honey, because that's your best friend's favorite food. <laughs> Why, you're very welcome, I'm sure. Pooh, I have the... Oh, I love games. Hiccup, hiccup. 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 But I'm not Hiccup. Playing a... I believe you win, Piglet. Now can we eat? P-P-Poo, I've g g got the... For me? Why, thank you. There. That's better. Oh my, I like it very much, Piglet. Is it a picture of me? Why didn't you say so? I'm hungry too. Oh, and don't forget the best friend gift. Best friend. Oh my, Piglet doesn't seem at all in a luncheony mood. And my best friend gift isn't to his liking. But who? Maybe I offended him. Perhaps it's better for me to leave. And goodbye to you too, Piglet. Another Chinese philosophy was Confucianism. It was around long before Buddhism and was popular at different times throughout Chinese history. It was really all centered around respect and education. Interestingly, there is a Winnie the Pooh character that fits this one too as you'll see in just a few minutes. The respect in Confucianism was for those with wisdom. That meant family, ancestors, and teachers. They knew more because they had experience with life. So, see kids? Listen to Mr. Roten. Confucius taught that logic and learning were very important. You could become a better person by learning. So, see kids? Listen to Mr. Roten. Another way to be a better person was by regular studying or serving the government. Mr. Roten does both of those things, that must be, why he is so awesome. Oh, worry not, dear friend. My great, great, great Uncle Ebenezer, uh, on my mother's side, had a sure-fire cure for the hiccups. It's really quite simple. If the hiccups can't hiccup, then they'll have to hick down. You can't argue with logistical like that. Um... Owl? Yes, Piglet? I say, Tigger, this is no good. Maybe not, but you have to admit, the little guy sure makes a dandy pogo stick. Stop and think for just a moment about the two cartoons you just watched. How did Winnie deal with Piglet's problem? How did Owl? Winnie just basically ignored it and went on with his life. Owl tried to solve it using logic. He also, interestingly, appealed to his great-uncle, his ancestor. Confucianism and in fact most Chinese philosophies highly respected, and even worshipped, ancestors.
You must go after her. She could be killed. If I reveal her, she will be. Ancestors, hear our prayer. Watch over Mulan. Model needs my protection, great ancestor. You just say the word and I'm there. Mushu. And let me say something. Anybody who's foolish enough to threaten our family, vengeance will be mine. <laughs> Mushu. These are the family guardians. They protect the family. And you, oh demoted one. I ring the gong. That's right. Now, wake up the ancestors. One family reunion coming right up. Okay, people, people, look alive. Let's go. Come on, get up. Let's move it. Rise and stand. You're all way past the beauty sleep thing. Trust me. I knew it. I knew it. That Mulan was a troublemaker from the start. Don't look at me. She gets it from your side of the family. She's just trying to help her father. But if she's discovered, Baju will be forever shamed. Dishonor will come to the family. Traditional values will disintegrate. Not to mention they'll lose the farm. My children never caused such trouble. They all became acupuncturists. Well, we can't all be acupuncturists. No. Your great-granddaughter had to be a cross-dresser! Let a guardian bring her back. Yes, awaken the most cunning! No, the swiftest. No, send the wisest. Silence! We must send the most powerful of all. <laughs> okay, okay, I get the drift. I'll go. <laughs> well, y'all don't think I can do it. Watch this here! <laughs> Jump back, I'm pretty hot, huh? Well, maybe I had to send you nobody to prove no point. You had your chance to protect the Fa family. Your misguidance led Fa Thane to disaster. Yeah, thanks a lot. And your point is? The point is, we will be sending a real dragon to retrieve Mulan. What? What? I'm a real dragon! You are not worthy of this spot. Now, awaken the great stone dragon. <laughs> so you get back to me on the job thing. Take a look at technology. One of the things that really helped China grow was a strong writing system. It is a complex system, but hey, it works. As mentioned before, at first China had multiple types of writing. Imagine how hard that would make it to communicate with people. You couldn't share books or write letters. That made things a mess, so the Qin Emperor unified them with one writing system. It is a picture based system just like the Aztecs had. Each word has a unique picture or symbol. In the beginning the pictures were fairly detailed as you can see in the video above. These pictures, while accurate, took too long to make all the time, so they simplified them into symbols. Another interesting fact is that the Chinese read and write up and down the page, not across like we do. So, given what little information you know about Chinese writing, draw what you think the Chinese word for sword might be. Yeah, that doesn't really look like sword to me either kind of looks like a house or a man scuba diving. Whatever, 